Why would you want a better grip? Well, if you want to get better at the pulling movements such as pull-ups, chin-ups, rows and muscle-ups, it's going to help a ton. Or if you're into sports like these, it's going to have a direct carryover. That's quite a lot. But even if you're not a sports person, having a good grip is just really handy for day-to-day -day life. Like impressing your girlfriend or mum by being able to open jars with ease. <laughs> this one is actually really difficult. Guys, I've been doing grip exercises all morning. Give me a break, all right? <sighs> there we go. Got it in the end. Celebratory pickle time. Grip training is also a fantastic way to build your forearms if you're going for that Popeye aesthetic. Another reason to train grip is that having a good grip has been closely associated with increased longevity. Or maybe you just want to become a better ninja. So if any of that sounds good to you, stick around because I'm going to show you how to get a vice-like grip with just your body weight. As with any exercise, the goal is to gradually progress to more difficult variations. Start with the two-arm hang. Grab the bar with your palms facing away from you and wrap your thumbs. Extend your arms, keep them relaxed and just think about squeezing the bar hard. If you want a bit of an extra workout at the same time, you can do an isometric hold to work your abs. Hold on guys, before you go Tarzan mode on me, I just want to recommend liquid chalk which will assist your grip. But you're thinking, Jack, I want to train my grip, so why would I use a cheat code like chalk? Without the chalk, your hands will always have a varying degree of moisture on them as will the bars you use. So to overcome this, we can make sure the bar is dry and apply some chalk to our hands. That way, you're training your grip under the same conditions every time, which will give you an accurate account of your progress. Okay, back to the two arm hang. If you can make it to 30 seconds easily, you know you're ready for a harder variation. Your sets should be manageable, but still challenging. Basically, you shouldn't be able to take a call while you're doing a hold. And if you can't hold for more than five seconds, you should try an easier one. When it comes to this hang exercise, be aware that a thicker bar is more difficult to grip. That's another way you can progress. If you struggle with the two arm hang, the bodyweight row hold is a great progression. You can increase the difficulty by angling your body lower to the ground, which increases the demand on your grip. The next, much more challenging stage is gripping a towel. You will feel a step up in difficulty when you try this one. As with a bar, a thicker towel is more difficult to grip, so using two individual towels is going to be more challenging than a single thin one. When you achieve your 30 second towel hang, you will have built considerable grip strength, and now it's time to go one-handed. Slowly remove one hand from the bar, and voila, you now have a hand free for other activities. If you're feeling good, you can even strike a quick pose. A progression for this one is to hold a weight in your free hand. I know you might not have weights like dumbbells or plates, but a filled water bottle can give you five or more kilos depending on the capacity. The final boss, guys, is the single arm towel hang. This one is super challenging, and to be honest, I could only hold it for a couple of seconds at most. I obviously need to train this more. If you can hold this one for more than 20 seconds, my hat is off to you, sir. You have a certified gorilla grip. Just like with any exercise, you can overtrain your grip, which could lead to some tendonitis symptoms that I've had to deal with in the past. So we need to briefly talk about how to train the opposing muscles called the finger extensors. Your extensor muscles can be worked simply by putting an elastic band over your fingers around the base of your nails and parting your fingers like so. Super simple to do, you can do them sitting at your desk. If you need some more resistance, simply add another band on top. Stretches like this are great for relieving tension in your hands and forearms. Do these following your grip training and it's going to keep your elbows healthy. Just training calisthenics in itself is going to improve your grip indirectly. But if you want a truly powerful grip, these exercises will help immensely. To program them into your routine, I recommend you do hangs a couple of times per week at the end of your workout so it doesn't interfere with your strength for the main exercises. I'm not gonna lie guys, a lower body weight is definitely an advantage for this hang exercise. But don't be disheartened if you're a heavy guy because getting good at these hangs will be all the more impressive. If you enjoyed, please like the video, subscribe for more and crush that bell with your steely grip. Thanks for watching guys, stay vital. To learn how to get massive strength gains with isometric holds, watch this video next. Stick around because I'm going to show you how to get a grip that can crush the skulls of your enemies. <laughs> I can't use that, that's way too violent.